Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bitches of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere alchemists. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Look, man, regardless of people here for a bit, just a quick little lesson. Right before camp, we try to do something through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Shai. I'm just seeking the Lord, man, you know. Got the brother Kabai with me. Shalom. And the brother Hawaiian, Lord willing, this lesson to be edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. And the Lord is, is commanding us to seek him. You see, and then the scripture say, all those that seek the Lord early shall find him. We got to seek the Lord early. You can't wait for all hell to break loose. And where the Lord at? Where the Lord at? Now, now some are going to come in at the last seconds or whatever. But who, who wants to tempt the Lord like that? Because you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know who the Lord is going to know saying deliver, man. As a, as we don't know the time, as Ecclesiastes the ninth chapter tells us, we don't know the time, we don't know the date, we don't know the hour when the Lord is gonna call our number, man. So therefore, we gotta make our calling and election sure. Seek the Lord now, Israel. Mm -hmm. This place, this place, been CTD. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The Lord brings little, little birds like that gonna be getting it out people soon. Come, bro. Ain't, ain't <laughs> ready. That shit huge, right? <laughs> right. That shit huge, right, bro? That's right. It ain't going fast as hell, right? Yep. Come on, man. Seek the Lord, man. Or, or um, pretty much um, get trapped up in everything that the Lord got coming down the pipeline. That's right. You got it again, bro. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord. How about Shemia was shy while he may be found? While he may be found. While the men of the Lord are still doing these edifying videos, starting off with the head apostles slash elder bitches of Great Millstone and the men on down. While we still out there on the highways and byways, this is the time to seek the Lord in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, you know? Mm -hmm. Martial law troops coming down the street. Mm -hmm. Somebody chasing you down the street, trying to eat you and all that, and now mm -hmm. you're trying to seek the Lord. Now you're like, damn, man, well, I, I, I hope I run into one of those guys that used to be on the corner that I was making fun of. You see what I'm saying? I hope I run into some of those guys. I was on their comment boards, you know what I'm saying? Calling them rapists, calling them pedophiles, calling them every name up under the sun except for Yasha Allah. I hope I can run into one of them right about now and apologize. Right. Damn it, it's going to be too late. The Lord says, seek him now, man. Why he may be found. Why the men of the Lord are still pushing this word, man. Mm -hmm. But the majority of our people worried about hot girl, girl summer. You yep. know what I'm saying? Worried about being a rapper, mm -hmm. an actor. When all that shit going down the drain. And, and then you got numerous accounts of people saying what you got to do to get in that world, man. You know? Yeah. You want to chime in, bro? Feel free, God bro. Precept. Yep. The Ezekiel 3 and 26. Now I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. And this is coming, man. We, we pretty much in the midst of this um, somewhat, though. See these different videos being taken down, these different pages being taken down, these edifying lessons from the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. But going right back to what is it on, um, bro? Um, Am nah, is it Amos? We gonna take the um, word off the uh, streets. Uh, eight and eleven. Yeah, eight and eleven. Pursuant to eight and eleven, Amos eight and eleven. People gonna be cr going crazy looking for the service teaching his word, man. You can't stop the inevitable, man. It's gonna happen. It's written of in the Bible that these people are gonna bug the hell out when the men ain't on the streets no more. Look, you wanted my service off the streets, damn it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Because the servants of the Lord, the Lord going to have their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth, meaning they're not going to give warning anymore. You see? They're not going to give rebuke, correct you, or none of that anymore. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's your ass, Mr. Postman. That's right. You want to say something, bro? Yeah, I mean, just I told you the story before. Um, when I used to come out. Yeah. I had a family member tell me, don't go out there, bro. Don't, hey, go, see, damn. don't go out there. Right. Now, imagine I would have listened to him back then. Right. You know yeah, all them years ago. All <laughs> It's like so 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 you don't want me to like, bro get before you um finish reading that get um James one and twenty one so you don't want me to receive salvation anytime you got a family member whether it's your daddy whether it's your mother I'm your brother I'm your sister I'm your pusher whether it don't matter who you got in your family member coworkers on a job it don't matter girlfriend whatever man cousins favorite cousins if they're you no know, saying telling you not to go out there you no know, saying listen to the words of the men out there on the highways and byways speaking the truth according to 
to the Bible, the 100% true according to the Bible, they don't want you to, to receive salvation, man. Mm -hmm. What did it say, bro? James 1 and 21 says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. And, and, and the, your brothers and your sisters or whatever to tell you not to go out there, they want you to continue in your wickedness too. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord is commanding us to turn back from superfluity and naughtiness, doing too damn much. You're in the world too much. Mm -hmm. they, they ain't tell you to stop that though, right, bro? Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but oh yeah, you most de I'm most definitely uh, throwing it out there in the air for you to stop going out there seeing them guys. But when I was in the club all the damn time, it won't nobody saying, you need to stop it. You need to stop yeah. doing it. When you was messing around with whoever, you know what I'm saying, whatever, mm -hmm. getting into whatever endeavors you was getting into, you know what I'm saying? You know, it won't, it won't no loud scream of you need to stop, so forth and so on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stop going to college because you're going to end up in heavy fucking debt. Won't nothing like that, right? Mm -hmm. It was like, yeah, go get it. Go get yeah. it. But then when you try to really go get it according to the scriptures and listen and take heed, it's like, stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Don't, don't you do it. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can only picture how their face was looking when they mm -hmm. were telling you not to go out there no more. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it wasn't their face. <laughs> right. You no, know, because that, that spirit hot on them, that spirit kind of yeah. like... You know, come through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It didn't look like the person yeah. that I, I knew my whole life. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. I said, let me get my ass down. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> right now, man. <laughs> and look what a, a difference it made Call from then to now. Yeah, Kyle Lai Yamla. Yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shot, man. You got it, bro. Con, James 1 and 21. It says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. And then you got people talking about, man, stop listening to that word, man. You're going crazy, man. You're starting to change. It's bugging you out. You're not acting the same. Something's different about you. I know, man, because the Lord is purging me from all that BS, you know what I'm saying, that was, that was on me. When I won't take heed to the word, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now I'm taking heed to the word. Of course, I'm going to look different. Of course, I'm going to act different. Of course, mm -hmm. my vibe is going to be different. The Lord's changing me, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm being brainwashed. In a spiritual righteous way, man, and they don't want that, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? They want they want you they want you to continue on being thuggo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Or man, man, J Rock, Bloody Red, and all this other madness, mm -hmm. man. They don't want you to be Kabad. They want you to be Kurt, Kurt. You know what I'm saying, right. bro? Right. You know what I mean? Right. You know they don't, they don't want me to be Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Right. They want me to be whatever my name is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Dre or right. whatever. You know what I mean? Right. Now he's starting to change, man. Mm -hmm. He's starting to change, man. I ain't gonna really be able to borrow too much money from him. Mm -hmm. Like I used to, man. I ain't gonna be able to come over his house mm -hmm. and just lay. I'm gonna lay my lazy ass on his couch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things are changing now. He looking different. Got a, a big beard. Right, now. right. And we don't go to the barber shop like that. Right. Anymore. But there's nothing going wrong with the barber shop. Yeah. But, you know. Jay wants you to um, keep swimming in iniquity, though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But the Lord's commanding us to seek Him while He may be found. You know. Yep. You got it, bro. It says, but be ye doers of the word. Right. So the Lord wants us to be doers of the word. So when we read Isaiah 55 and 6, and it says, seek ye the Lord, you know what I'm saying, why he may be found. He don't, he, the Lord just doesn't want us to just hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He wants us to do also, be a hearer and a doer. Mm -hmm. You know? That's it on that. It says, deceiving your own selves. Right. That was that Because was when you don't take heed to the word, you're deceiving your own self. You ain't deceiving mm -hmm. nobody else. You hear it, you hear it, but you ain't doing it. You deceiving right. your own self, you know? Go ahead to Ezekiel 3 and finish it off. Yeah. Ezekiel 3 and 26, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Right, that's why this is the time to seek the Lord. Because eventually, eventually, the Lord is going to have his servant's tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth, and they're not going to be warning anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's your ass, man. Because the only thing that's keeping us stable is these warnings. That's right. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. This is the only thing that's keeping us stable. When it, when it's not out here anymore, these mm -hmm. people are going to really lose it, man. That's right. And the birds chiming in. I know, in. right? Came by singing. Right. <laughs> the birds say, show you're right. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Yeah, Ezekiel 3 and 26, it finishes out. It says, that thou shalt be dumb. Right. And shall not be to them. It ain't, it ain't someone of dumb like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. no, man, it's someone <laughs> mute. Meaning you ain't speaking, man. That's what the word dumb means. Pretty much mute, silent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep, it reads on. And shall not be a, to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? I, I've stricken them. You know what I'm saying? And they haven't, um, they just rebel more and more. more. So it's like, why even warn them anymore? Yep. Why even try to correct them anymore on where they're going off at? And now I just got to bring fire to them. You mm -hmm. know? And that's what the Lord is going to do eventually. Bring fire to our people. That's it. So let's go back to Isaiah and read that again. That's right. We're, we're, we're just bringing like three more scriptures and wrap it up. Yeah. It's Isaiah 55. 
Yeah, because the Lord said he's bringing um, fire through uh, in Isaiah 65 and 15. Right. Uh, this is Isaiah, um, he said 55 and yeah, 6. Yep, 6 and 7 again. 7, yep. yep. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Right. Call ye upon him while he is near. Call upon the Lord while he is near. And starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone, we're giving you the proper names in the Hebrew tongue to call along. And it's all according to faith, but we know according to the spirit, man, when we call on those names, things happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Many blessings. You know, I mean, man, the Lord is taking care of us, man. I mean, above measure, man. The Lord is really, truly taking care of us, man. Like he always did when we trusted in him, bro. Mm -hmm. The Lord always, he said, I ain't never forsook an Israelite that called upon me, man. Yep. And it feared me never, ever, man. But the Israelites that forsake you, how about Shemel Shai, he's going to bring more hell on them, bro. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much a strict little warning. Through the spirit of you have, but you shy, you know? Yep. And get mad. Yeah, we say those names pretty much every time we make a statement, we say those names. And what? And what? That's you right. Got, you got it, bro. That's right. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his you're, way. You're, it's like your brother, you heard old boy said, nothing but gal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, man, right. They said, yeah, but she may shy. Wow, wicked gal. <laughs> Just because we call on the names, yo, that we did the, the true proper names, bro. It's been looking out for us, man. Ever since we've been calling on them, man. He right. evil. Nothing but evil. I ain't seen none of them right. Come on, man. That dude, sh oh, Shakespeare. You know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, Shakespeare, bro. Yeah. Yo, you know what I'm saying, bro? You got it, bro. Funny, but it ain't funny. Right, right. Isaiah 55 and 7 says, let the wicked forsake his way. Right, meaning the wicked Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Forsake your wicked way and receive with meekness the engrafted word, man. Mm -hmm. Turn from wickedness. You know? You got it. Yep. Verse 7 reads on. It says, and the, it says, and the unrighteous man, his thoughts. Right. That's why we got to constantly ask for forgiveness for our thoughts, too. Mm-hmm. Because you could be thinking something and it may not come out, but the angels know, the Lord yeah. know. You know, because evil thoughts come all the time. You got to mm -hmm. rebuke them. Yep. Wrong for thoughts, sins, and doings. Done. Done. It says, and let him return unto the Lord. Right. Let him repent and turn back to you. How about Shimei was shot? Because the Lord ain't going to bring nothing but destruction. Mm -hmm. He said it. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. And the Lord said, now, nah, if the family don't get you, you know what I'm saying, that sword will. You mm -hmm. know? If famine don't get you, that sword will, man. And the famine is, is, is upon us. Right. It says, uh, reading on, finish it out, Isaiah 55 and 7, and he will have mercy. So if you return to the Lord, he said, look, I'm going to have you give you mercy. Mm -hmm. You know, not through uh, the monkey spit, not, right. not through the grain of rice. Right. All right. But through your how about you shot his mercy. That's right. It says Brother said his monkey speak, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a good one though, man. Remember, the Lord said those that don't seek him early, you know what I'm saying? When he brings death and destruction, look, man, the Lord said he's gonna bring evils right. upon our people. Evils, you know what I'm saying, bro? Upon our people, man, meaning bad times. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. Straight up, man. Sleazy he's gonna be pumping all kind of shit in your ass. You know what I'm saying, bro? And the Lord is down with it, man. He beareth not the sword in vain, man. That's right. You got it, bro. Yep. It reads on Isaiah 55 and 7. It says, And he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. The Lord has the, has the power to forgive us of our sins, man. The Lord has the power to save and deliver us, man. It's of his will. But then the, the, the thing about it, the Lord controls who repents and who doesn't. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. Who takes heed and who don't. Bro, get arms um, so of rock. Whatever you got, and I'm saying, get Sirach on um, 51 and 12. Okay. And whatever you got, and we'll end it. We'll come back, Sirach. Like, like Amos said, um, Amos 5 and 4 says, Seek ye the Lord, all, um, all you children of Israel, and live, man. Mm -hmm. If you want to live, seek the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You children of Israel, you know? Yep. Which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Us. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You don't want somebody to be chasing you down the street, you falling and they start eating you, yo. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just pull you off on, onto the side of the road in some bushes somewhere, bro, and it's just just bunker down on you. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just bunker down on you. You know what I'm saying, bro? And you can't do nothing because you're already weak because you ain't ate nothing in probably like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you barely running anyway. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You seeing, you seeing shit. You know what I'm saying? You just falling. You know what I'm saying, bro? You got it, bro. Sirach <laughs> 51 and 12. For thou savest me 
from destruction. See, thou savest me, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh saveth us from destruction. You see? Because we're not saved yet, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep, it says, and deliverest me from the evil time. Right, if you repent and turn back. And deliver us from the evil time, meaning the bad time. Because for so in the second Timothy, the third chapter, verse one, it says, In the last days, perilous times shall come, yeah. hazardous, dangerous, evils, bad. These are the times that we live in, and it's all gonna turn up, man. It says the Lord can deliver us from all these things, though. Yeah. It's coming down the pipeline. If you seek them, if you take heed to what the word is saying. That's right. You got, you got it, bro. Yep. It says, Therefore, uh Sirach 51 and 12. I will give thanks and praise thee and bless thy name. Right, see, oh see, Lord. we're going to give thanks. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We're going to bless those proper names, those high holy names in the Hebrew tongue. Then will we will we, will we be saved from our enemies. You know right. what I'm saying? That was, a, that was a bad scripture right there, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord wants us to return, seek him, and call on those names, man, mm -hmm. that we most desperately need. We desperately need those names. You know what I'm saying, bro? Can't play around with those names. If that if those are the only two names that can get you saved and delivered, why the hell are we gonna play around with them, bro? You right. know what I'm saying? That 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 that's ludicrous to tell you the truth, that's though, right. bro. It's ludicrous. Like that's Mike, right. like um Mike Tyson said, ludicrous. Ludicrous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got anything else, bro? It's Rock 17 and 26. Uh, it says, turn again to the most high and turn away from iniquity. Look, seek your how about Shimia Shai and turn from iniquity. Mm -hmm. Sin upon sin, wickedness, man. You see, a righteous kingdom is gonna be established on the face of the earth, you know what I'm saying, with you or without you. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know. You got it. It says Sirach 17 and 20 uh, And the kingdom is gonna be beautiful too. You already know it. But before the kingdom is even um established on the earth, you know what I'm saying? The Lord mm -hmm. gonna bless brothers, Lord mm -hmm. willing. We are that number, man. Yep. Got nothing to worry about. Seek the Lord for us and everything else will be added. Right. It says, turn again to the most side and turn away from iniquity. Right. Seek, seek your how about Shem Yahweh and turn away from iniquity, man. Mm -hmm. Sin, transgressing of the law. Go ahead. For he will lead thee out of darkness. For the Lord going to lead you out of darkness, the ways of this world. And to the light of health. And to the light of health, which is this word. Mm -hmm. And hate thy abomination vehemently. Right. With a passion. You're supposed to be on fire when it comes to hating abominable acts, man. Wicked acts, man. Mm -hmm. It says vehemently. Yep. What the last part saying? And hate thy abomination vehemently. Right. Verse 27. Who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of him? Oh, that was it. That was all I wanted. Yeah, like, like, like that scripture said, you can't praise the, the Lord in the grave. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord wants us to praise him right. while we live him. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Any more to that, bro? That was, that was pretty much the point. Yeah, that's one. You got any closing statements? And yeah, man. You know, I like to say this a lot, but it's true. You know, our people are seek everything up under the sun, and what has it gotten you? Alcohol, drugs, food. Right, death. Death. Uh, really, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Day, Gout. Man. Yeah. Uh, amputated, <laughs> amputated feet and mm -hmm. legs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wake up, wake up. You know what I'm saying? With fucking no legs. You know what I'm saying? You just, it was all good last weekend. Mm -hmm. Seek the Lord, man. Dangerous times. Shit, man. The Lord, the Lord tired our people too. The Lord tired of um giving our people that word, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're just throwing it back in his face, man, when the service out that teacher, man. Yep. The Lord gonna make a move on you Israelites, you rebellious Israelites that don't take heed. Just know that. That's a fact. Okay. And with that, Lord willing, that's that's it, bro. That was it. Hey, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians. Hey, with that, we're gonna be the dead horse, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, yeah. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God, so people here for a bit. DTA, a ball, a ball. Soon and very soon. Shalom.